Question three in the chapter four homework is worded a little bit differently than the other questions. And to start with, you'll notice there are three columns of calculations, and that's because they're not combining labor and overhead into a conversion category. They're separating them. So you just have to accept that and do three columns of calculations here. The other confusing piece is in step one, they're asking you to compute equivalent units in ending inventory. So rather than ask you to compute total equivalent units of production, you're only going to calculate the equivalent units in ending work and process. So you'll take the number of physical units in ending work and process given up here, multiply by the percentage of completion with respect to materials, and put that answer in the materials box. And then the percentage of completion with respect to labor and overhead is the same. So whatever that percentage is times the number of physical units will be the answer that you put in both of these boxes. The other part that's a little bit different is step three. The total amount of cost to be accounted for, they don't tell you the cost in beginning work and process and the new costs, but rather they just tell you the total amount of costs that need to be accounted for. And this that is the amount given in the third line of this first paragraph. So you'll put that total amount here in the first cell. And then what we're doing is explaining where did those costs go? So some of the costs were completed and transferred out to the next department. We calculated that number up here. The other costs still remain an ending work in process and we calculated that amount here. So we'll grab these two costs, transfer them down here to this section, total them up, and then see that that total agrees with the total in the first line. In question four, you are asked to calculate equivalent units of production. So this is total equivalent units of production. However, you're not given the number of units completed and transferred out to the next department, but you are given enough information to calculate that number. You're going to use that same basic equation where we take the beginning work and process inventory plus the number of units started, subtotal those two, subtotal that calculation, and then subtract the units in any work and process. The answer will be the number of units completed and transferred out, and that'll be one part of your total equivalent units of production. Then you'll calculate the equivalent units in ending work and process using this figure here and multiplying by the applicable rates of completion. You'll have to use that formula again in question six, because again, you're not told the number of units completed and transferred out. And in this problem, the units, um, the unit of measurement is pounds, but you'll still use the beginning plus new minus ending equals units completed and transferred out.